Hi, today I'll be showing you how to set up split screen multiplayer in Left 4 Dead 2 with multiple keyboards, mice, and controllers. First, we need to download Universal Split Screen. Go to this website, the link is in the description. Click Download and download the latest version. I already have it here. Right click, Extract All, Extract, and run Universal Split Screen.exe. Go to the Options tab, select Source Engine, and click Load. You see the options have changed. I go back to Current Window, and just leave it for now. Next we have to set up Left 4 Dead 2 to run multiple instances. Let's go to Steam, right click Left 4 Dead 2, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Right click on left for dead2.exe, create shortcut. You can rename this shortcut. Go right click properties. And at the end of target here, after the last double quote, we have to add a bunch of launch options. This width here, 1920, and height 500 is for a 1920 by 1080 monitor. If you want a different uh, monitor size or you want to do a vertical split, you change these two numbers. Now click Apply. OK. Launch this once. Now open Universal Split Screen again. And focus this window so it shows up here and then click Unlock Source Engine. You should see it's successful. So now you can launch another instance. So go on the same shortcut. Okay. Now go to Options, Keyboard slash Mouse. Make sure Allow Developer Console is enabled. And if you're using a gamepad or a controller, make sure Gamepad is enabled. Now open up the console by pressing the tilde key, this is usually above the tab key, and type map c and then free for example, m1, and then press tab. If you want chapter 3, this is what you do. If you want chapter 2, do c2, m1, and press tab. Chapter 1, you do c1, m1, tab. Then just press enter or click submit. Once you're in, open the console again and type status. Now look for the IP that says 192.168. In my case, it's 192.168.1.117, colon 27015. Just remember that. Now, on the other instance, open the console. You may have to set it up in options. So type connect, and then the IP. And then click enter. Now before we start, if you have a mouse that comes with configuration software, as I do here, make sure its polling rate is set as low as possible. It makes your mouse a bit more smooth. Open Universal Split Screen again. Make sure you've selected the Source Engine preset and loaded it in the options. Now select the first instance here by clicking on it. You see its name pop up here in the window handle. So click here with set mouse and type here to set the keyboard with one keyboard. Now click on the second instance, so the window handle has changed. Click on set mouse with a different mouse and a different keyboard here. Alternatively, you can select the controller index here and to use a controller. Anyway, that's all the setup there is. I'm going to just click start the screen. See if I move one mouse, it moves this mouse cursor here, 
We have mass move this one. And I can control both of them. There we have it. Once you finish playing, press end on any of the keyboards. Universal split screen will pop back up. So that's it. Thanks for watching.